In this video, I'll show you how to connect an HDMI cable to your MacBook Air M4. The MacBook does not have any HDMI input. The only input it has is two USB type C ports right over here. So we'll need an adapter to convert HDMI to USB type C. There's multiple adapters on the market. This is one I have been using for many years. If you have watched my older videos, you will have seen it. It's made by Pluggable. You plug your HDMI cable right over here. And the other end is a USB type C that you connect in your MacBook. Now, you really need to be careful. There's many of these adapters on the market and the cheaper ones are not able to transfer data at, ter at 60 Hertz or more, which means that if you intend to use your display to game or even do basic stuff like browsing the web, 30 Hertz, in my opinion, is not enough. You need one that is at least capable of 60 Hertz or more. You also have many USB docks or USB hubs that are USB type C and have a few USB connectors and an HDMI input like this one, where you can simply connect the cable here and do the same thing. This one is a cheap one and unfortunately it does not have 60 Hertz. It's only able to work at 30 Hertz. So I definitely prefer using this. After connecting your TV or your monitor to your Mac, there's a few options you can change. If you go on the top left corner where the Apple logo is, click on it, then select system settings. On the left side, you need to select display that is right over here. You have a few options, use as. If you click here, you can select if you want to mirror or if you want to use it as an extended display, therefore, uh, you can drag stuff on your other monitor and you can bring them, you can bring documents here to the monitor, bring whatever is on your monitor back on your screen. You know what an extended display is, right? So if I click here, this is what will happen. If you click arrange, you'll be able to place your external display or monitor how it is positioned compared to your Mac. So let's say if my display is on the left side, you can put it right like this. If it was on the top, simply put it on the top. This way, when your mouse goes like this, it will continue on your external display. And finally, you have other options like the resolution. Make sure you select your external display there that you have been connected using HDMI and select the appropriate resolution over here. So this is it. I hope this was useful. Please leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.